Weed eaters. Weed eaters. Weed eaters. Them obnoxious little noise makers. That's all I'm going to say about weed eaters. You know, if you've got one, start it up. The, uh, something that just came to the forefront, let's say, is these pulleys on these McCormick Deer and M's. They come in various sizes, and they also come in various ways of mounting that pulley to the crankshaft. Uh, it's got a square head down in there. Uh, how are you going to get that out? I'll show you. It's your lucky day. Let's get on with it. This engine right here. Oh, before I forget it. Canadian. A one and a half horsepower M Canadian engine. Had a different name tag on it. Just bring it to your attention now. But what I'm doing today is pulley wheels. Getting them pulleys off of there. Got to get the crankshaft out. I need a cylinder sleeve. This engine right here, I'll show it to you. Had this little, uh, th this is the kind of set screw. It's got a slot in there with a screwdriver. You put that down in there, and most of the time you can't turn it, so you put your uh, uh, adjustable wrench and, and you know, uh, do what you want to, I'm sure. But there is a correct way to use this tool. Uh, I usually use it to pry with. Uh, I use it as a pry bar on this handle right here. It's really good. You can get If you can get it under something, you can really do some prying with this tool right here. But, you know, and you also can put it right on your screwdriver like that and get a leverage. I mean, it's trivial, but... It had to be done on this one right here because this thing right here was in there extremely tight. Now, the reason the camera is rolling is I'm going to show you something really, really good. Uh, you might need to know it sometime. The And you know if you, uh, let's say, if you have watched a couple of videos from here on the east coast of Arkansas, y'all know there's a couple of things about me. I don't like to talk very much in my videos. And also, I don't like trick tools. Not to say a, a, a tool has its place, but just a, just a totally trick tool. I, just, I have no use for them. I've got them in the shop in there. Almost every trick tool that they've sold, I've got one of them. And, you know, put them in the toolbox, and that's where they're at. Right in yonder is one of them square head. This, this won't get in there. It's got nothing. It's square. So, got to get that out. I'll show you something. And don't get me started on them craft man tools. Because I got two... I, I went in there to get the tools to come out here to get that out of there with. And, oh, Lord, don't get me started on Craftsman tools. These right here are the same logo, the same number, the same length, the same size. But one of them is a totally piece of junk. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I, I, I don't know why I keep this tool right here. I'll probably weld something to it. I'll probably, I'll probably modify that for something else. Uh, the reason for that little tidbit of information is, uh, let's see what size that is right there. Oh, it's an important. Write it down. It's a 7 16 12 point. It's a little socket deal. 12 point. Good, nice. That's a craftsman. The, uh, the, the, the point, if there's a point to be made, both, both of these are three eighths. Uh, I'm not even going to go with the part number. It's just unimportant, but they're the same. They look, uh, they don't look, they don't look, they, you can immediately tell one is better than the other one. <laughs> the problem is 12 point, when you put it here, it just goes round and round and round. The, the corners there are round. Well, it's just totally useless. 
This one right here, the same brand, same number, same everything. But see how crisp those corners are, sharp and bold. And when you put them right in there, it's a good tight fit. You're only using four of those facets, but anywhere there's a square in there, and a 12 point. You can't do it with a 6 point. And that, 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 when you do that, with this setup right here, you end up with a square socket down there. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Now you've got a square socket. And it just so happens that is the size of that, of that set screw down in there. Some of them are extremely tight, rust and such. So just when you go get the tool, you just the wells to bring out a cheater bar. Just the wells to do it. Some of them are, some of them are not. That one over there was, just came right out. No problem whatsoever. Okay, let's see how we can get this out. Put that on there. And, oh, man, man, look at it. Oh, <laughs> this is my lucky day. But this is a Canadian engine, so, so, you know, oh, yes, huh, well, that won't happen again in a good while, but, loose, okay, we got it out of there, and, and you can see that's the size for that, good tight fit right there, well, that's a good fit, now, some of them you kind of have to drive it on there, because that, that'll be bratted off, but, you know, Oh, we got that out of there. I'm proud of that. Okay, that's, uh, you know, call it a shop tip. The factory-made square drive socket, that's a Williams there. A S412 half-inch drive. And as you can see there, it's got that square drive and that that screw fits right in there. Now, to be real, uh, uh, fugural, you know, use what you got. Let's say you don't have a full set, then you can turn it around, use a 3 8 drive on this end, and you've got a half inch square socket. We got one of them off. Let's see about that other. Hmm. May not be as easy. Uh, they say, well, they don't make them like they used to did. And it's probably a good thing. i show you something. This is that, that, that other M pulley. I think this is the six inch size. That's a four inch, I believe. When they when they drill that hole in there for that set screw in yonder, and if you put a long, I'll show you something why they probably shouldn't make them now like they used to did. But this is a factory pulley, and and you see that that hole size there. Okay, if you were using the set screw with the screwdriver slot in it, then you could get down in there and tighten it up. But if you're using the set screw with the square head on it, then you can't get a socket down in that little hole right there. Plus, if you had a thin enough wall socket to get down in there, it's offset. On that side over there, it's just barely touching that side of that hole. And this is a straight, this is a, a brand new bolt, straight, no bend to it. And if you put in that threaded hole in there, you know, you can't you can't make it go different ways. But it touches on that side and over here you got about an eighth of an inch. So what I'm gonna do set this up in the in the mill in there, true and level and all such as that, and then I'm gonna run a end mill straight true that up, and then I'll I will I'll show you something. This is one came off of that one. And if you put that down in there, it's a perfect center. And it's of a size where you can get a socket down in there. 
So I will I will uh, set that other one right. But these these pulleys actually come off pretty easy uh, with just a, a light blow with the chisel there. I didn't have to bring the gear puller into play. Got that one off. Same story on this one. Came uh, it was a it was a little bit. Uh, uh, both both pulleys will be. Uh, and this one right here, you see these holes here? Okay, at some point in time, this right here had a had a had a had a gripper around it. Usually a piece of canvas back belt, and you cut it and put it around through there and rivet it on there in order to give more traction. 